Okay, so we're here with um, Itchy Neighborhood. Uh, they played at um, the grand opening for Yakme, which is uh, Y A C M E dot C A radio, and uh, they really, really made this happen. Um, uh, if you guys could just sound off who you are from left to right. Am I on the left? I guess you're the left. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Stage one, Garrick. From his view, yes. I play bass. Oh, sorry, say your name again. I'm Garrick. I okay. play bass. All right. I'm Joey. I play the guitar and sing. And I'm Ben. I play the drums. Nice. So how long have you guys uh, been together as a group? As a group? Um... Well, we've been in the same group for uh, probably since about kind of mid-September 2011. So it's coming up to two years, but okay. uh, gone through different names. So. And oh, different, different members. members. <laughs> different, different names and different members. It's kind of hard these days to um, hold a group together, I guess, isn't it? Especially with the crap we've been through. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. what? Tell, tell me some of the trials and tribulations. Well, Drama queens. Yeah. What? <laughs> Drama queens. Okay. Describe <laughs> describe today's drama queen, shall you? Today's drama queen. Very difficult to deal with. In in what way? Because they're in a band, do they feel that they are um, gods or or that women should do anything that they want or <laughs> that you should do anything that they want? Yes, that uh, last one, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> really, they, eh? they seem to think of their band as like their band. Their, yeah, they don't like, mention the name. Yeah, yeah when, they, <laughs> when people talk to them about the band, like I, I like to say, oh, when I'm talking about the band with other people, I say our band. I don't say my band. <laughs> okay, yes, yes, yes. They sort of take ownership of things that maybe aren't theirs. and You know, they can just... They do tend to do things that, you know, like, kind of, like, contribute yeah, a little to... Yeah, yeah, well, in the live shows... Maintenance. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's one. In the live shows, like, um, it's, they yeah, act a lot happen. different than compared to in, like, the, you know, when we're rehearsing, right? Okay. Like, for example, we had a guy... Um, I mean, he was a pretty spot-on singer. I give him four stars. Um, and, uh, I mean, he brought a crowd sometimes, and... Uh, you know, he in the studio he wasn't bad in the, in the band room and stuff. But as soon as we got live, you know, he started twirling the mic and stuff, and no I was way. like, dude, I paid for that. Oh <laughs> I paid my god! Fifty bucks for that. I mean, come on. It's sure, some sh showmanship is nice, right? But yeah, let's not go. Yeah. Let's not go destroying our equipment. Here. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we're not the like girls watching. <laughs> they have to look cool. There are girls watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks really cool when you're being a member in the face and. <laughs> Yeah. What do you what do you what do you think are some of the some of the, the problems I'm gonna I'm gonna use to finding uh, you know a good band members? What are some of the problems that you come up against? Okay. Um, attitude. Yeah. Um, and a kind of a balance between energy and control is another one. How do you um, mean energy and control? Like okay, so like for example, you either get people that are like way too crazy or way too, well, I'm kind of crazy. We're all, we're not normal people, musicians aren't possibly. Um, but or you get people who are a little too energetic, a little too crazy. Or you get people that are like too self-conscious and aren't crazy enough. And you know, it's kind of like, you know what I mean? Because you're in a band, you gotta have some showmanship. You're like strippers. I mean, you're the entertainment for the night. You take suggestions, you play, you, but and you I get don't paid. My body. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're men, so we can totally do that. <laughs> give me, give me a story of, of, and you don't have to use any names, okay. but one of the funniest people, or eccentric, let's call it, or egotistical people, that that oh, you know tried out or auditioned to be part of your band. Okay, let's start with Gordon Ellis. <laughs> we don't have to say names. <laughs> let's start with... <laughs> okay, I had to say that. Oh, let's, let's start with this drummer kid. Um, okay. Okay, the, the first... This. Yeah, you probably will. Um, the first... Uh, we kind of had this band idea. Somebody threw it out in high school. And it didn't really come together. But then the next... After the summer, kind of in the next school year, it kind of got together. And we had this other drummer who was 
kind of a punk guy, you know, long hair, is into more punk rock. I mean, he said he, he never plays drivers. Yeah, he never watched it, yeah. Well, that's a style thing. He's in the back, no one cares. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, no offense, do <laughs> <get that>. Certainly, <laughs> we do care. You can but go on. We get away with the most stylistic crap. Yeah, but um, anyway, um, so he, we had a few kind of tryouts just to kind of like, you know, get on the same page because, you know, we all play different things. And we kind of noticed right off the bat, because we had kind of low-powered amps, so we got, okay, let's play a little quieter. And, uh, okay, let's, let's drum a chord. Here we go. First thing you know is drummer's way too loud. Okay. <laughs> like, okay. way, way too loud. So, um, okay, and we kept him for a bit. He was coordinating. We told him, okay, settle down a bit, but it was his style, so we eventually, probably two weeks in, we kind of had him step in the drums okay. a couple times, and he was gone. So it was like yeah. kind of weird. Yeah, certainly. Off. We sort of phased him out. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah. if you could talk about one of the best performances that you guys, the three of you, have given uh, as a band, where and and what was that? Well, um, I'm going to be generous here, and I'm going to say four of us. Um, okay. Because we had another member, mm -hmm. and he was the most memorable, I'd say, was that he had really long hair. He was like a, our singer um, for a bit. And we played at uh, this pizza place in Surrey. And um, yeah, and we, had, and we had a blast. And this, his dad like recorded everything. And okay. We did like, you know, a bunch of people showed up. He was clapping. He's just being a showman. He's being really, he's being a showman, right? Yeah. But not going overboard. Like he's doing his part, right? And it's, it, I just had such a good time. I, I, honestly, I don't know what you guys. I, look at, I think it was in February. That, yeah, that was that was pr yeah. that was really good. It was. Isn't that funny? You you just spawned a memory that I guess was in the back of my head. It wasn't wasn't there a guy there from Shaw that was going to cover it for Shaw? Ah. Uh, a black I, guy, and he yeah. brought his he brought his daughter and and his mom. That was me. It I was. remember there was Olympia Pizza. It probably was Olympia. Yeah, isn't that funny? That's why I recognized. Wow, him. that's so funny. That's bizarre. Yeah, I think I, I think I had the camera, didn't I? Did I film something there? You might have. I think you so. Might've. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he was. It was with our other singer. And, I'm so uh, confused. Yeah, I might have. I remember seeing you in the audience. I remember sh maybe shaking your hand. Yeah, yeah, but, that's funny. Man, that's crazy. I knew I recognized you. I know, singer. right? Wow. So, yeah, and he, this other guy, uh, he was our other singer, and he was great, but he passed away last March. Oh, right? really? From a heart attack. Um, ah, yeah, you've got a song about him, right? That Stubborn Stones. That's right, yeah. And he actually yeah. wrote the lyrics to You're Eating Me Up as well. Oh, he, really? He did. I mean, we, it was, that was very, very band coordinated, because he wrote the melody and the lyrics, and we just put that together, like... It's like such that. a good song, put together just like in a few moments, really. He started singing, and I was like, okay, what's the chords go with this? I'll yeah, let's do something kind of simple yeah. for the change. Yeah. And then I'll come up with a beat and then yeah. oh, it's sort of all kind of just, together. I'll kind of just listen to what he's playing and do a simplified pattern. Yeah. So it just kind of came together really quickly at song and you're eating me up. And mm -hmm. uh, everybody's loved it. Very simple. It's awesome. Punky, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's, rock. It's awesome. It's great. You guys should try and put that on a commercial or something. It's really, <laughs> no, it's really good. Thank you. It's really catchy. It's really catchy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you came and you played for uh, the Yakme Grand Opening. And, uh, you know, it was a bit confusing because it was the first time we were setting up. And, and you know, we were missing cables and cords. And, you know, a couple of people didn't come. A couple of people had things on media that we couldn't access. And overall, you know, when you guys started to play, I thought it was just amazing. You know, you're, you're so in tuned and, and a real professional band like you guys are very professional are you serious yeah honestly <laughs> i remember for the longest time sorry to interrupt but we actually we were not we were just weren't coming across as professional we we're just really? kind of like yeah we're just joking around we're just having fun well yeah but really. you were having fun but um, you were very professional yeah, about and it we've kind of recently it's like you know we'll just we're just actually go somewhere with this you know yeah. we we'll just kind of thought okay do it so we, we love having fun on stage too, yeah so. <laughs> yeah you're great performers great, great performers so what's what's in the future for you guys like what are you what are you planning on doing <sighs> planning um we're just kind of going with whatever comes at us honestly um 
Music's a very hard business, yes. especially around here. A lot of people yeah. are, are fighting for the spot, right? Yeah. And the spotlight. And um, I've always kind of believed in the notion that um, it's kind of like, because I know people that kind of search for something and they go to everybody, they try out all these record labels, yeah. but, and, they all, and all these record labels like refuse probably 99% of the millions that, yeah. that even apply, right? Yeah. And I've always believed that if you're good, yeah. they'll find you, you know? Yes. Um, and uh, I'm more or less just kind of, we're just kind of aggressively kind of getting yourself in the open, getting your name out there, and, you know, list, I'm listening to people, promoters, radio guys, <laughs> all of that, and just trying to, you know, um, seeing what ways I can, we can promote ourselves. Yes, yes. And the fastest means possible, bro. All right. So, so <clears throat> what, what have you guys done recently? Like, where have you played recently? Well, arts, you know, yeah, thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we've also played in White Rock. And uh, we played that in kind of late April, and we played uh, we played at a ch church in Delta. I set that up with a pastor there. Okay. Kind of broke even. We generally play, you know, play lots of free shows and just yeah. kind of play around, right? Yeah. And we played at this Olympia Pizza place. Just yeah. Kind of from time to time, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we we had a few shows, um, but nothing like. Nothing humongous, you yes, know. Yes. Yeah. Um, we're just kind of a local kind of group, so. And so, where do you where do you guys see yourself in in the next three years? Well, it's hard to tell. I mean, as individuals or as a group. Both. Say. Both. Let's start. Let's start with you, Joe. Okay. Let's um, let's talk a bit about. <laughs> let's talk. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> let's talk. Okay. Let's talk about Joey Mullins. Is it Mullins oh, or Mullins? Mullins. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. I and S at the end too. Okay. Um, Three years from now, that's mm -hmm. weird. Um, well, first tell me, who is who is Joey Mullins? Well, we're kind of looking at him. Um, I'm kind of a dweeb, <laughs> but um, 